back to another edition of Fucking Around on a Saturday with Joe. I'll be your host. Uh, sitting here right here in the rent chair, smoking me a palm all. And uh, just listening to the noisy sounds of nature and apartment noises. I had a hard time sleeping last night. Neighbors upstairs, uh, they get drunk, they hit each other. Then they have makeup anal sex in the bathroom. And then uh, after about three or four seconds of him and her going at it, then they go back to hitting each other again. I can't understand it, but whatever. You know. But as I often do on Saturday morning, when I'm not hungover shorts, like today, because I'm not. You know, I often uh, fill the lonely hours in the day when my angel's napping with uh, videos and stuff while mom sits and fusses about things and watches The Price is Right. And uh, an interesting concept that I found is uh, the CIA invented something called a heart attack gun. It's a uh, kind of like a really modified Colt 1911 with an electric trigger and a six power scope mounted on it. And at 100 feet away, you can hit somebody with this little ball of ice with poison in it. And it gets in their bloodstream and it incapacitates them and gives them a heart attack quietly. Now, this is back in 1975. Can anybody else figure out some sort of mystery poison that's brand new that's been causing people to drop over suddenly of a heart attack? Like a bunch of athletes, actors, Hollywood elites, things like that. Hmm? Maybe a certain medical procedure pushed by the World Health Organization? Just throwing that out there. But we are the only nation in the world to play with such technology, right? Heart attack guns. And now all of a sudden there's mystery poison that everybody's been injecting into their body when they put on a paper mask that's causing people to drop over. Uh, long gone are the days of Sergeant Stadenko and his shiny Smith & Wesson revolver uh, back in the same time period where men smoked in airplanes. Uh, they drank on them too. Maybe they played, you know, Mile High Club with stewardess or something. And uh, they poisoned Fidel Castro's cigars. Trying to make his beard fall out. Yeah, that was a thing. But as always, if you don't like another random shatter day of screwing off and fun coincidences and happenstance in history, then you can eat my shorts and have a fantastic Saturday.